Hey, okay, so if you've watched any of my videos, uh, you know that I, I always kind of warn people about watching headline news and how it can be misleading on the housing market and probably quite a few other uh, subjects out there as well. But I just got an email today. I wanted to show it to you to kind of prove uh, prove my point here. So I'm going to minimize here. So this is the email I, I got here today. And uh, the title here is Rent Surge as Home Prices Fall. Now, again, you read that, you think, oh, my goodness, home prices are falling. Might be a good time to get a discount because last you know two years, it's been crazy out there. Home prices are falling. I'm going to get a deal. But let's click on this link here. And let's just really dig into it. So you can check it out. You can kind of see my screen here. So you can go find the article yourself. But here's what I want to point out. It says, home sales have dropped sharply from last year's peak all across the U.S. And sellers are cutting prices and rising interest rates makes homes less affordable. At the same time, the new report shows rents are surging. Now, again, you read this, you think, oh, my goodness, prices have dropped. But what they're not, they're not really telling the truth here. It's important to understand that if you have sellers are still pricing as if it's extremely hot market, and so they're overpricing, and you start to see price reductions, price reductions do not mean that homes are selling less today than they were yesterday. It simply means that maybe the market's changed a little bit, and where people are going to kind of getting really, really high on the pricing, they're having to come down. So let me show you another report right here. This just shows you the home uh, rate of appreciation across the United States. And you can see here on uh, the past year, home appreciation has been 17% in Oregon. You can see Florida 29.78%. That's insane. But let's just go ahead and take a look at this last quarter here, this most recent quarter. Now, this is the quarter appreciation rate. And you can see still extremely hot. Florida at 7%. Uh, Oregon, where I'm at, 4.4% appreciation over the last quarter, which is on an annual basis, a normal appreciation rate is three to 5%. We've got 4% here in Oregon in just three months. So again, has the market changed? Absolutely, but be really, really careful when you start to hear, hear headline news. They like to sell fear. And when they start to say home prices are slashing, again, you think you, you know, crazy Eddie's out there putting things on sale, that's not the case. Home values continue to be very, very strong. You might see fewer multiple offer situations, but I'm still writing pre-approval letters this day with multiple offer situations. But where homes may have been selling in one week, now it's taking three weeks. Where home prices were maybe selling for 20% over asking, maybe it's 10% over asking, but it's still a very healthy market. So don't fall for it. Don't think that home prices are about to fall out and the housing market's about to correct. I'm very positive on the housing market. When you look at the numbers, supply and demand, there just simply is not enough supply to meet demand, even though demand with higher interest rates and higher home prices, which definitely does impact affordability, while that's had some impact on the number of buyers in the market, there's still plenty of buyers compared to what we have available for sellers. All right, so I hope you found that helpful. Check it out. If you have any questions, let me know. Put comments in the comments section. Like the video, that helps other people uh, find the video on their searches as well. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. All right, thanks.